Alrighty guys, welcome. Guys, we have had one of the best three days in a long time. We're going to be talking about how I made a little over $1,600 from swing trading stocks. A couple of these positions that we're gonna be talking about today, you guys know we've only been in for two or three days. So we're gonna be talking about the strategies, the approach, pretty much my thought process when it comes with these stocks. So I hope you guys all enjoy this. And if you guys are new to the channel and you're like, who is this guy? My name is Carter, I'm a full-time swing trader in the stock market. And with that being said, we do have an amazing school where I teach people my strategies, my mindset, how I became a full-time swing trader. We pretty much have have private live streams we have a group chat we have quizzes lectures everything that you guys need to uh, become a successful trader so check it out down below and you guys know i am a huge detroit lions fan and since they just won we're doing a massive 50 percent off sale code lions for 50 percent off so check it out down below and guys let's uh let's jump into this here so like i said this has been a fantastic fantastic day here now looking at our pnl sheet here you guys can see that and you guys know if you guys have been following the channel you guys know we've entered about three positions we entered nvidia sound and avgo the average the average profit here is near and around five hundred and forty seven dollars in profits and we haven't had a losing trade which is really really good now this past week here we made or we're up about one thousand six hundred and forty three dollars with the highest profit being nvidia now this one here nvidia here you guys can see that we've been in you know a little bit longer than some of these plays here you know some of them we entered you know yesterday some of them you know a couple days ago but Overall here, NVIDIA $800, Sound $300, and AVGO uh, about $436, which is awesome. So guys, when it comes to swing trading and trading in the markets here, one of the most important things you guys can do is to journal. Now, that journal that I just showed you is the journal that you, know, you guys get when you sign up with the course. Now, if you don't want that, I would highly recommend having a trading journal, whether you write it down or have a Google Sheets. Uh, but the reason why is because you'll choose these quality plays. You'll you'll make sure you're following your strategy here. So looking at ticker symbol S O U M. Now the first thing that I look at in order to determine if I should buy it is just the overall trend. Now you guys can see with this one here, we've had this beautiful upward trend here. Now removing all these indicators and confusing stuff for new traders, um, you guys will see that if we look at it here, you guys can see a good upward trend, but you know, you'll also see this nice trend line here. This trend line represents really hard support. So for a trend line, we want a minimum of three touches and that's what we have. We have one, two, and three. So in order to enter a position, you know, we want to make sure we're hopping in on that trend line to ride the wave going up. I always imagine trends and trend lines is like a river. It's a lot easier to just be in the river and swim downstream with the river at your back than trying to swim upstream. So with trading, with investing, that's a little tip that I would really recommend. The next thing we look at is something called the RSI. The RSI stands for the Relative Strength Index. In simple terms, it pretty much just tracks momentum. Historically, with most stocks here, you want to trade under a 30 or a 35. Now, right here, the stock was trading for about a 35 on the dot. Now, normally, you know, yes, we want to get in under that, obviously, or 30 or a 35, if not lower. But in order to do that, and one of the reasons why we hopped into it is because it did have a nice risk and reward. And I wanted to really be in on this position uh, because of the trend lines and some moving average lines. You know, this one here, as, as we remove this trend line, we also will throw up this moving average line. So you guys can see this red line here represents the 200 day moving average line. It takes this previous 200 days closing prices and merges them together to form this line. This line acts as support in resistance. So you guys can see it hits it, get good buying pressure, good buying pressure, good buying pressure. So when the stock is below it, you guys will see that these moving average lines act as resistance. So it's just where we get natural sell off here. So obviously, if you want to enter the position, you want to look, you want to enter when the stock is above it and it's coming in contact with it. So now as we start evaluating the stock here and we're breaking down our checklist, so upward trend, stock on a support line, it has the 200 day moving average line and it also has a trend. It's undervalued on the RSI. Now, how do you enter? You know, 
entering, you also wanna make sure here, you know, I wanna talk about it is, you never wanna hold through an earnings report. And earnings is a 50-50 chance of making money. As a trader or even an investor, we want, you know, a higher percentage. So for traders at least, you know, investing, obviously you hold through earnings. But for trading, you know, like looking at some of the stocks here, you guys can see that this earnings popped up. This one here, we got sell off. So, you know, this one here, we had buying pressure. So in earnings, sometimes you'll have a really good earnings, sometimes you'll have a really bad earnings. So the biggest recommendation that I can give you is just set an alert on your phone or, or somewhere so you can get notified, you know, a day or two before the earnings announcement. So now as we go in and we see it actually hit that, you know, that line there, we want to make sure that we're going to be buying on either support or some sort of breakout. So with this play here, we entered on the breakout of this trend here. So yes, we could have bought down here, but the issue is, is if you buy at the lows, you know, like on this, on this trend line here, sometimes what we have a tendency of seeing is just more sell off. You know, it's just where these stocks kind of like this here, where it just hits it and we have sell off. So if you entered on the support down here, you guys can see it just rallied its way down. So now what we're seeing here is the stock pop up. We entered on the breakout of the trend, curled up, hit the 90 day moving average line, and we had great buying pressure ever since. Now, another play here, obviously this one has worked fantastic. One of the hot, the higher returns here was Nvidia. And as we look at this here, you guys will see pretty much a very similar thing here. Stock on an upward trend, sold off down to a support line, which is just this overall trend line. The RSI was at a 35, which looking back at previous points of contact, you guys can see that every time it's at a 35, we've had good buying pressure. Now, Another thing here is looking at the one hour chart and you guys can see the heavy amount of support in this range here, right in there. And we also used a lot of the sell off as just really good opportunity to enter this. So there's a lot of good approaches. You could enter on the support in this range, setting your stops below it. You could have entered on the breakout here of the 90 day moving average line or even the breakout of the 200. The next thing that we're looking for is something called a golden cross for the stock here. This is it right here where we have this blue lower moving average line break up through the red moving average line. This historically has represented a bullish indicator for a lot of hedge funds, a lot of retail investors to hop in on this position. And you guys can see the last time it did that, the stock absolutely skyrocketed it up. So now the last stock here is ticker symbol AVGO. AVGO here was a stock that we traded here. Now this, this one here and the thought process behind it was actually very, very simple. As we look at the daily, you guys can see just the heavy amount of support on that red line, which is that 200 day moving average line. It was undervalued on the RSI trading for near and around a 30. So the last time it was trading for a 30 was back, you know, back, it's been a long time, but back in here in pretty much mid 2022. So it's been a couple of years. So now you guys can see it, hit it here one time, sold off, hit it here, and the stock has been moving ever since. The hourly chart here looks really good with heavy support down here, but we actually entered on the uh, breakout here. So I do think when it comes with trading and investing and all that stuff, you know, it all comes down to just understanding the type of entry you wanna take. So our average cost for this is about 145. So we entered here obviously on the breakup going up, and it actually curled down, hit that 90 day moving average line, establishing nice support and the stock has rallied up ever since. So the thing about swing trading is one, it's just being consistent. So, you know, yes, this has been a fantastic three days and obviously with all these positions, we're running a trailing stop. So if they do dip down a little, we'll just exit the, exit the stock. We're already up $1,600 in a matter of about three days, which is awesome. So guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys want to learn how to find these plays and you know the scanners we use, I highly recommend checking out our course and you guys can use code Lions to get 50% off. So check it out down below. You won't regret it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you. Take care.